a hey, shalom this is shalom from the great millstone atlanta camp first i want to give all praises honor and glory to yahweh bahashim yahweh shah bahashim rakakwadash also giving double honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone that teach and rule well peace and safety to the elect of israel that consists of unique Negroes, latinos and native americans and also the israelite foreigners that look like the heathen nations that are joining to us, shalom to Israel. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do a really, uh, uh, hopefully edifying uh, lesson on this uh, devil that you see on the screen, Johann Frederick Blumenbach. Hope I uh, pronounced that name correct, but he is basically the uh, creator of the black and white races and if you read on the screen from this wikipedia it says the caucasian or right or, or white race blumenbach was the first to use the term for people of european middle eastern and north african origin believing that the people of the caucasian or the caucasus were the most beautiful of the world. So this devil is saying that, you know, basically uh putting himself and his uh his race or pe of people, his nationality above you know other races saying that they are the most beautiful. And this is the same devil that named uh unique roles black. Not only that it says the Mongolian or yellow race, including all East Asians and some Central Asians. So he called them yellow. And uh, if you go a little bit more into it, he also named the uh, the uh, Native Americans red. But if you go down here. Um. From Discovery Magazine, it says the man responsible was Johann Frederick Blumenbach, one of the least racist thinkers of his day. How can he be the least racist thinkers when you just read uh, up here at the top? It says he says that the uh, Caucasus or the Caucasian people were the most beautiful of the world. So he he basically came up with the uh, term black and white people, and it doesn't really have anything to do with skin complexion. If you actually go, of course it has to do with you know light and dark, but if you actually look at the definition of, I'm just gonna pull it up. Um, Okay, black color definition. This is how this is how these these uh these uh people looked at us by us being um you know dark skinned southern tribe Hebrew Israelites and they knew who we were. They knew exactly who we were. But it says color meaning meaning of the black Meaning of the color black, black is associated with power, fear, misery, strength, authority, elegance, for, for, formality, formality, like you. death, evil, and aggression, authority, rebellion, and sophistication. Black is required for all colors to have depth. And vari variation of hue. And also that word hue. I'm going to touch up on that in just a second. Now when you go into. The white color definition. It says white is the lightest color, uh, having no hue, 
the color fresh snow, chalk, and milk, and it's opposite of black. You see that having no hue. And if you go and actually go into, uh, you know, the uh, background of the word human, uh, I believe it means uh, man of color. Because when man was first created, he was created from the ground, you know, which are uh, the Adamites or Adam. And they were all men of color. They were all people of color back then. And of course, we know the story about Esau and Jacob. Esau coming out red, basically having no uh, pigment. So this devil basically naming himself white or having no hue uh, or having no pigment. You know, he's trying to say that he's, uh, you know, white is actually associated with purity and, and, and beauty. If I can get it real quick, it should be down here somewhere. Okay, here it is. This is what I was looking for. It says, the color white, empower yourself with color psychology. The meaning of the color white, purity, innocence, wholeness, and completeness. Hey, this devil was trying to say that's who you are. Uh, you know, you, you, uh, that's who, uh, the Edomites are, but basically going back to, uh, let me see if I can get back to it. Okay, here it is. It says, believing that the people of the caucus were the most beautiful people of the world. So, you know, basically by him naming, you know, you people white, that that is actually a sign of hate towards the other nations or the uh, the darker nations. So just to call, just for a, a so-called Edomite to call himself a white man and to call uh, uh, Negroes or, uh, you know, the southern tribes of Israel black, that is... Um, you know that's that's a sign of hatred. You know I I really hate to uh, refer to all people as black. I rather say Negro. But of course you know I want to get some precepts, and I'm gonna start off with uh, Deuteronomy chapter twenty eight and thirty seven. As soon as my uh, okay, here we go. It says, the Lord will smite thee with... No, no, no. No, that's not it. I meant to say 37. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and 37. It says, and thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. So the Lord, you know, this is a curse. And the Lord used this devil to uh, basically curse our, uh, you know, our people and take away... Who we really are. You know. Uh, another thing is. I didn't really show it on the screen. But that. That, uh, that devil that came up with the. Uh, the black and white. Uh, name for the. Uh, Caucasian or the Edomites. And you know you Negroes. In the southern tribes of, of Israel. He actually. Um, went into science. And studied. Um. Uh, Human skulls. Now they actually uh, associated the human skull of the uh, so-called Negro with the uh, the skull of the uh, ancient Hebrews that 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 was enslaved in Egypt. And they were saying that they are the same people. So. You know, these uh these these you know these these scientists, you know, these historians, they know exactly who we are. And you know, everything is uh is being unfolded or revealed. 
you know, in these last times. But their main focus was to uh, basically take us down and keep us low because once we, uh, you know, once we come into remembrance of who we are, that's the end of them. As a matter of fact, I'm going to get the book of Psalms. Chapter 83. And I'm just going to start from the top. Verse 2, it says, For lo, thy enemy make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. Just like I was saying, you know, they uh, they, they had to come up with different ways, different terms uh, to uh, put themselves above us. It says, They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. Which is us, the, the Israelites, the true Hebrew Israelites, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. It says, they have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Verse 5, for they have consulted together with one consent that are confederate against thee. The tabernacles of Edom. Notice they, they name Edom first. You go back to that devil, that Edomite, you know, he's the one that actually named the nations and um, you know, put that that uh that proverb and that byword on us. Verse six again, the tabernacles of Edom and the Ishmaelites of Moab and of Hagarik Hagarigenes. And then as you go down, it shows all these other nations. So this was this was basically prophesied, you know, um, that this was going to happen to us. But, hey, we're coming back to who we are, and this devil still want to refer to us as being black. Now that we're Hebrew Israelites, he want to call us black Hebrew Israelites. But what about the, the, the uh, Latinos, the, the Native Americans? You know the, uh, the 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 northern tribes. What are you gonna tr call them? You can't call them black Hebrew Israelites. You know we have uh, we have camps all over this earth, and this devil know that this is his end, because as as you read in the Matthew chapter twenty four, it says that this gospel would be preached. All around the earth, <clears throat> excuse me, that the gospel will be preached all around the earth, and then shall the end come. Roughly paraphrasing, so you know we have camps all around this earth now, uh, speaking the same uh, gospel that this place is going to end, and we're going to be in power real soon. So, you know, that's going to come with uh, the persecution from Esau, Edom. You know, uh, first of all, it's, it's really, uh, they say that we, we, we speak, we teach hate. It's really teaching us hate or it's really spreading hate by calling us black Hebrew Israelites because we're not black. I already read you what the, uh, the word black is associated with. It's associated with evil. And another derogatory uh, words, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end it there. Uh, I don't want it to be too long, but basically just touch off, and you know if you can research this guy here. Johann Frederick Blumenbach. You know he's the uh, he's the one that that basically came up with the uh, white and black uh, names of black and white for uh, races. You know the Caucasians and you know you uh, southern tribes of Israel. 
But um, I'm going to go ahead and end it. I hope this lesson was edifying. Once again, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakakwidash, double honors to my elders and apostles, the great millstone, Shalom to the elect.